the only thing that could be bad is to take it too seriously. In other words, uh, if you take the, the fundamental idea that the whole universe, all its forms, all the forms of biology, all the different species, the giraffes, the rhinoceroses, the baboons, the, the roses, the uh, eucalyptus trees, etc., everything, is a form of biological game. It's a dancing thing going on, different styles. And we wouldn't want to say to any of those things, you shouldn't happen. Because they are all the great Maya, the great illusion, the great play. And so the polis, the human community, organized with division of labor, with classes, with uh, uh, all the complications of economics and banking and transportation and so on and so on and so on. All this is a particular kind of play. And each form of it is as legitimate as, say, different kinds of dancing, a waltz, a rumba, a foxtrot, a frog, all are perfectly legitimate forms of dancing. So the universe does this. But the important thing to understand, and what the sannyasin, the shramana, the man who goes outside the pale, is saying is, please people who are in the pale, I, my existence reminds you that you're only playing. Don't take it too seriously. Because if you take it too seriously, you're going to start destroying each other and fighting and uh, uh, saying this city against that city, this country against that country, so on. Because you're too involved. So every sane society allows a certain number of people to deviate. Monks, uh, some sort of outsiders. It says, you don't have to join. You don't have to play the game. A society which is insane and unsure of itself cannot allow that to happen. It says, everybody must join. Everybody must work. Everybody must belong. And then freedom disappears. Because as a matter of fact, the, 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 the anxiety is if you say, well, uh, you don't have to join. There are conditions under which you can go out. Then a lot of people get together and say, well, what would happen if everybody quit? I ask, what would happen if everybody decided to take American Airlines Flight 3 to New York tomorrow? Well, they just wouldn't get on. I mean, uh, and, and, and they won't anyhow. Because a lot of people aren't interested in that are not ready to quit. That doesn't mean that they're in, inferior. The acorn is not inferior to the oak tree. It's a potential oak, but as an acorn, it's just as beautiful and lovely a thing as a full-grown oak is. A baby is as lovely as an adult, sometimes a great deal more lovely. So a person who is in a beginning state of evolution is just as marvelous as a person in a high state of evolution. Just as much a manifestation of the divine dance. So, when a society allows a certain number of people to withdraw, it should have no anxiety that everybody will want to withdraw. Because some people are absolutely fascinated in, in competition, in being involved, in playing the game. They should be. It's fine for them. But we are witnessing in the United States today a, uh, a great motivation for withdrawal. It's simply because we haven't provided for it. We haven't... Uh, there's no opportunity for a Protestant to become a monk or a Jew. The Catholics have half-heartedly provided for this sort of thing. And there have to be people who uh, stand outside the game and do not identify themselves with a class, with a name, with an ego, with a persona, with a role. <laughs>